Uh, hi everybody, uh, today I'm going to calculate the current uh, in the single phase power system, which is here, uh, using the base, uh, S-Base 100 uh, MVA. So, why I did first of all is distinguished each section of the power system. So, what we have here is 8 kV source of the generator, and then uh, and has an impedance of um, one uh, J1 ohms, and then you got the transformer over here, a step up transformer, which is uh, which is rated, which has a ratio of um, one to ten, and then you have the line section here, uh, which has an impedance of uh, J12 ohms, and then you have a step down transformer, which has an uh, a ratio of 5 to 1 uh, then you got the uh, load section which uh, is uh, which you have the load section which has impedance of 10 uh, plus J1 ohms so what we want to do is convert everything into per unit to make our lives uh, easier so um, uh, first of all you have to know the base voltages to find the base voltages is, is really simple, just using the uh, the ratios in the transformers. So the voltage base for the generator section is already given, so which is uh, 8 kV. So let's say uh, V base for the gen section. is uh, 8 kV and then for the line section so VP line so we have the, 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 the ratio over here so if you have 8 on this side which is supposed to be 1 what you simply have 80 on the next and the other side so that's the voltage over here on the uh, v base line so you have uh, 80 kV right and then for the for the next section which is the Z load um, so you have 80 on this side so you have the ratio you have the ratio here 1 to 10. And you have the ratio here, 5 to 1. So you have 80 over here. So you want to know what this is. What you simply do is do uh, 80 divided by 5, which is simply um, 19, uh, 16. <laughs> 16. So um, VB load is 16 kV. Right, so what we have to do next is calculate the um, so that so we have to calculate the z base for each section. The formula is really simple, so all you do is uh, z base is simply equal to v base squared over SB so we know SB is um, 100 MVA which is 100 times 10 to the 6 VA um, okay so let's do it for each section so Z um, Z base for the generator is what we have here eight eight times ten to the three squared over one hundred times ten to the six which gives us a uh, zero point six four ohms and then you have a uh, Z base for the line section 
So our V base is 80. So 80 times 10 to the 3 squared over 100 times 10, 10 to the 6, which gives us 64 ohms. And then you have Z base load. So I have 16 times 10 to the 3 over 100 times 10 to the 6 which gives us 2.56 ohms so we then calculate the uh, per unit impedance uh, to calculate the per unit impedance uh, you use this formula so Z per unit is the actual impedance over the Z base which we calculated earlier so for the generator section so Z P U gen we have so basically what we had we had J1 and for the line we had uh, we had uh, J12 and for the load we had 10 plus J1 so so what we do here is simply apply the formula so when we said that the uh, ZP unit for the generator was um, J1 over Z base Z base for the gen was 0 0.64 so 0 0.64 which gives us J1.56 per unit so then you get the Z PU for the line uh, which was J12 over 64 64 and J12 yeah which gives us um, uh, J 0.1875 per unit so then you got the ZPU for the load which is 10 plus J1 over 2.56 so all you do here you just uh, divide uh, 10 by 2.5 which, which will give you 3.9 then divide J1 over 2.5 which will give you uh, plus, so plus J0.39 so don't be scared if you have like a number and imagine a number it's the same thing so that's per you okay so we're almost done what we have left is the uh the base current what i want to do here is calculate the base current so we have the formula i base just simply S base over V base. Okay. So and then calculate it for each section like we've done before. So uh, I B for the generator section at one hundred M V A over uh, over eight. KV, which will give us 12,500 ampere and then you have the I base for the line which is 100 MVA over 80 KV which will give us 1250 amperes and then you got the I base load which is 100 VA over uh, 
16 kV, which will give us 6,250 ampere. I like to draw a diagram which will simplify understanding what, we, what we've done right now. So it's called the um, pre-unit equivalent circuit. So you have the source over here, which was 8 kV. So it will be one per unit because uh, it is 8 kV in a zone with a base of 8 kV. So 8 divided by 8 is 1, all right? So uh, what we have here is a source. have the impedance here, impedance here, so you have the um, generator impedance, so this is generator, and this is the uh, line, and this is the load. So what we calculated was that the generator impedance was uh, 1.56 per unit, and the line was uh, 0 0.1875 per unit and the load is J, J, uh, and the load was, was it, uh, 3.9 plus J uh, 0 0.39 right okay so after that what I have to do is calculate the uh, per unit current so if you want to cal calculate the per unit current it's really simple because we just apply Ohm's law I over V I equals V over uh, Z or R right so what we have is I per unit is so what we have V is 1 so 1 over J right 1 plus 5 6 plus 0 0.1875 plus 0 0.39 plus 3.9 so that, that will give us, after converting it into polar and doing all the calculation, uh, it'll give us um, 0 0.225 to the angle of negative 28.73. To find the actual currents, uh, you use this formula. So I equal to I base times I per unit. So I generator is I B gen times I per unit. So all we had the IP we calculated was for the generator was twelve thousand five hundred. So twelve thousand five hundred sorry, twelve thousand five hundred times uh, 0 0.225 to the angle of negative 28.73 so I line is 12,000 uh, not 12,000, 1,500 times 0 0.225 times 28.73 and I load is 6,250 times uh, 0 0.22 above 28.73. All right, uh, that's how you uh, calculate the, the uh, currents and how you convert the power system into per unit. I hope uh, it helps you, and uh, thank you very much.